Do you ever get such moments where actually you should be doing something else, but then inspiration strikes? Like, I was actually cleaning up my studio because I've got just everything thrown around everywhere, but then I looked at my scraps box and I was like, sock yarn. Uh, well, inspiration struck at quite the right moment as Socktober is in full swing. Let's make some socks. I already made these fluffy nests. Um, my inspiration was, well, I have been sampling and sorting an alpaca fleece and there are still some, well, B-grade parts in there that are still soft, still good enough quality to spin, but maybe not on their own. So why if I mix them and then add that little bit of alpaca softness in sock yarn? That was my reasoning. So I'm doing that. I am mixing it with all kinds of wool and a little bit of uh, leftover acrylic just for a pop of color because I am still convinced that you don't need nylon or acrylic to make good socks. Well, I'm still putting it in there because the colors are so vibrant and I like colorful socks. I'm just taking them off in little bird's nest as if I were combing it. It just makes it uh, the fluff more manageable, I think. There is a very autumnal colored bird's nest. Yeah, this is nice. And you just know who spins the sock yarn, right? It is our trusty, my first wheel, Bernadette. Now, I know there are some people concerned about the noises she makes, but that's just... This bit of the footman is completely worn out by the use of her previous owners and myself, and that's what rattles. So don't be concerned. For everything else, this wheel is in tip-top shape. So we have got one nice random skein. Um, because it's so nice and random, I think it deserves more than just becoming a chain ply, where everything would just be stripes. I think this deserves to become the epitome of chaos and thus a real three-ply. Now as we know Bernadette over here only has two bobbins so we are going to make them into well center pull balls but it doesn't actually need to be center pulled just balls that we are then going to use to ply from. Silly. Did I tell you guys about the community aspect of this project yet? No? Hmm. Strange. During Tour de Fleece, I had a special Discord channel on my Discord chat dedicated to Tour de Fleece and everything that everyone was doing. And we had so much fun doing that that I want to recreate that feeling every now and again, maybe seasonally. So I thought that Socktober was a good moment to again connect with the Chaos Goblin tribe over on Discord, over on Patreon and do something together. Now as I am aware that not every one of my subscribers, not every one of my patrons is a spinner or a knitter, I have dubbed it Spooktober with CK, so that that want to spin or knit can, but that those who don't can just also be part of a cozy community craft along 
with anything spooky or Halloweeny or autumny. So Spooktober with CK. It's a Socktober, but also just a Halloween craft along over on my Patreon, which shall be linked down in the description if you are interested in joining. So my contribution to this shall be the epitome of chaos, sock yarn and socks. Let's add the second single. If we would apply these two together, that would look absolutely hideous. And if we we'll add a third one, it'll be for sure monstrous. Which is exactly what we're going for. And here she is, the third singles ball that will turn our yarn from something chaotic into the aforementioned yet unspeakable monstrous epitome of chaos sock yarn that we so desire. I call it a jawbreaker. They, they all look like jawbreakers. There's so much colors in them. I also really loved like making the balls because then I could see the progression of the color going really fast. It's mind-blowing, so much color. I love it. Now, for the plying, Bernadette's little bobbins will not do. I'm going to ply this on Christine, who has some jumbo bobbins that will fit the three balls on there simultaneously. I'm excited. Let's see how these three incredibly random yarns go together. So I'm plying my Chaos Shenanigans sock yarn um, and one of the three skeins has run out. Now, the other two also don't seem very equal. So I think my plan would be to try and make a plying blade, to try and make a plying bracelet out of the bigger one and then ply it together with the smaller one and I hope then I kind of get an equal three ply at the end, just trying to make the most out of what I spun. Let's see. Since my first skein could only account for 50 grams, thus only for one sock, I have made a second one. We started the entire process all over again. I carded new beds, spun new singles and then plied them into a second chaos yarn skein. I will now continue to wet finish these skeins and then my spooktober, my socktober preparation is done and we can start the actual knitting of the chaos socks that however will be a different video because i also want to give my patrons ample time to work on their own projects while we continuously chat about them on our discord channel over the course of the month october which means that you can also still participate if you want you can join the Patreon, the link will be in the description and then you can chat along 
and show us the project that you are making this October. I am exceedingly happy with these two scales, schemes. They, they, are, they are maybe a little less chaotic than I had envisioned them to be, but the white and beige alpaca really ties everything together, I find. I mean, I have used different colors of acrylic in both games because it is a gradient yarn that I carded up to use for this extra bit of color in the skeins. But you would still think these are sister skeins, even though the colors are slightly different. Yeah, these are going to make some exquisite socks. So if you want to see the end result, tune in next time. I can't promise that it's going to be next week's video, but somewhere near the end of October, you will see a finished pair of socks and also what my patrons have been doing in the month of October. Anyway, I think that's all that there is left for me to say, except for maybe if you like these kind of fiber shenanigans and maybe you could like, comment or subscribe, but of course that is all up to you. And as for me, I will see you in a next video. Bye!